Welcome to MD Bytes. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to unlock protected Excel worksheets without password. Ethically, you must try this technique only on those Excel sheets owned by you. So here is the exercise file, which is a protected worksheet, contains sales data and reports. You can see the sales values in view here and also the formula cells that provides total percentage of total and average. And based on the sales values provided in here, these categorized charts are being generated. If we need to make changes, these cell values must be changed. But if I try to do that, I will get this message demanding for a password to unlock. In normal cases, if I knew the password to make the changes in the worksheet, I need to select the review tab in here in the menu. So now I just click on review tab. And now in the protect group, I need to select the unprotect sheet icon which demands the password. So now here I need to provide the password to unlock the worksheet. In this case, I don't have the password, so we cannot avail that. So we need to go for another technique to unlock this worksheet. So that I can do the required modifications in this worksheet, even I can do drag and modify the charts as needed. Also the sales values in here can be updated with new sales values. So the other way of unlocking this worksheet is to be performed from the file location where this workbook is stored or located. So now I just open the folder where this worksheet is stored. Here it is, the Excel workbook named as Unlock Password. So this is the workbook which contains our sheet which has to be unlocked and we need to do some modification in this sheet. It's a first step in this technique. We are going to convert this Microsoft Excel workbook file into another file format, which means that I'm going to convert the extension of this file. To make it very clear, I just click on the view tab in the menu in here and in show or hide options, I just check this box, which is file name extension. Now we can see the extensions of the file. So I just make a right click and copy this file and paste it again in here. So this is to make a copy of this file so that when I do the changes, the data must not be corrupted. So where we are going to apply all the techniques in this copy file. Now to convert this file format, I make a right click and select rename option in here. And I'm going to change the file extension in here, which is XLSX. And this has to be replaced with zip, Z-I-P and enter. So now it asks the dialog box to confirm the file extension conversion. So are you sure you want to change it? Yes. So if I click S, yes, the Microsoft Excel workbook file will be converted into a zip folder. You can notice that the file has been converted. And now I'm going to make a double click to open this converted file and check out the properties of the sheets where we can remove the protection. So these are the folders. Now I click on the folder named Excel in which you may find a folder named worksheet. So I just click on this folder in here where we will have XML files based on the number of worksheets we got in the workbook from where we have converted this file format. So here in this workbook we have three sheets so that we have three XML files in here in this converted format. XML files in here will have the properties code of the worksheets. As of now we need to click on sheet1.xml to check out the code of the first worksheet. So this is the XML code set it up for the first sheet where we need to search for protection code so i just press ctrl f so in here in find i just type protection where it will find out the protection code of the sheet so this is the code has been generated in the properties to set up the protection for the sheet so this code must be removed from this xml sheet so then the protection can be removed from the worksheet as well so for that, I need to drag this sheet1.xml out of this folder and to make the modifications separately. So I have dragged into this folder. Now we got sheet1.xml in here and I need to make a right click and I'm going to open it with notepad. So we can do edit in the XML file and remove the protection property code from the sheet. To find the protection property code in here, I just press Ctrl plus F which brings this dialog box where we need to enter protection the keyword to find out where it is so i just key in protection and then i just click on find next button so this highlights the word protection in the sheet so here is where the code for protection has been set up in the xml sheet so this angular bracket starts 
with the code for the protection property and ends up with the closing angular bracket so now we are going to select the complete code of our production property and we are going to delete it so here is the code where it ends with an angular bracket so I have selected the complete code of production property in the sheet in the XML sheet and now I'm going to press delete so once I press delete the complete code for protection has been removed so this makes the sheet to be unprotected now I just click on file and save to make sure that sheet 1.xml has been saved and I close this now the next step is we need to bring in the new version of sheet 1.xml into the zip folder for that I just open the zip folder where we got these three XML files and this sheet 1.xml must be replaced with the new version of sheet 1.xml for that we need to delete this sheet 1.xml directly and we are going to replace this sheet 1.xml new version in here so I just select delete and click yes so that it will be deleted and it is simple to drag the new version of sheet 1 into here so now I just click OK so that the new version of sheet 1 XML will be brought into the zip folder so now we have updated the folder by removing the production properties in here so now I just close this zip folder and the next step is to convert the zip folder back to Excel workbook file for that I just make a right click on this zip file and select rename option and this time this zip extension must be replaced with xlsx format so that this zip folder will be converted back to excel workbook file so i just click yes so now you can see the file has been converted back to excel file so now i just make a double click to open this new excel file and let us check whether we could manage to unlock the protected worksheet without the password so this is the worksheet where you can find all the menu items in the ribbon are already enabled means it's now unprotected so now I can do changes in the cells even I can drag the charts and also update the sales values in here so let us try I just change the value in here so it is 180 I just change it to 300 and you can see the changes in the charts as well also I do change in here this 90 to be changed into 250 and I enter so you can see the changes in the charts so this is how we unlock the protected excel worksheets without using password